So there's a study that just came out. 87% of real estate professionals go out of business within the first five years of business, 87%. Within the very first year, 75% of people fail. Why is that? I have my reasons. Top reason number one, especially within the investment game, the number one reason why people go out of business is because they get into it for the very wrong reasons. A lot of times we're watching HGTV, we're sitting at home, we're looking at these people on TV do these deals. We see and hear these numbers and we go, oh, I can do that too. We're making a lot of money. I wanna do that. Not realizing that these people have been doing this for a very long time. They have resources, they have experience, they have the knowledge to go out and do these things. A lot of times people think that they can just get up and do it, right? Without the experience, without educating themselves first. And they get themselves into situations where they start a business, they have no clue, they don't plan, they don't prepare, you end up failing. If you're running down that road, just make sure, hey, take a step back and think about it. Educate yourself on what you're gonna get yourself into. Put yourself in the right positions. Do the right courses if you need to, to learn more about the industry. If you're trying to do fix and flip, talk to more investors, follow them, do ride-alongs to see how they do the business before you jump into it and starting it on your own. Reason number two is that you don't view your business as a business. A lot of times we go into business and dollar comes in one pocket, we take the dollar out of that same pocket and spend it before putting it back into the business. No, you don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure that as revenue comes in, you're taking that money and you're siphoning it off to the different places that it needs to go to help your business grow. You have operational costs, you have marketing costs, you have all these different things that help your business run and help your business grow. So you wanna make sure your business gets paid first and grows first before you take money out for yourself so the biggest thing in that is the mindset shift shifting yourself from being the nine to five where you get the check you spend the check to hey I'm a business owner now this money comes in I have to make sure I take care of my business first before I take care of myself third reason is you target any and everyone to be your client this is a huge mistake when you're starting off because you're gonna run yourself thin trying to please everybody. The best thing that you can do is find a niche. Well, if you're wholesaling, you find a specific type of property that people are looking for that you know is in high demand that you can provide for others very easily. If you can do that over and over and over again, you build the traction, you build the revenue stream that you need to then take forward to go and do other things. If you're a real estate agent, right? A lot of people think, oh, I'll go right into luxury. It doesn't necessarily have to be luxury, but you can pick a specific neighborhood and say, hey, this neighborhood is gonna be my neighborhood. I'm gonna own it. Everybody in this neighborhood is gonna know that I'm the real estate agent for every property in this neighborhood. So you wanna be that person. You wanna be that point of contact that everybody comes to in order to list or buy or sell. You just become the source. Reason number four is trying to do it all by yourself. I have a saying that no man is an island and no man stands alone. You cannot do this business by yourself. You have to have the team. The faster you build a great team around yourself, the faster that you can grow. The saying, rising tide lifts all ships, right? Make sure that you have an amazing team behind you that you all can grow together. There you have it. The four reasons why people fail. If you stay away from these four reasons, right? You do the opposite of these things. You give yourself a chance to survive. You won't be a part of the 87%, be a part of that 13% that's thriving out there doing great business. So again, Top four, getting into real estate for the wrong reasons, not treating your business like a business, targeting every and anybody, and number four, not building a team around yourself. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you need any help with any of those topics, reach out to me. I'll be glad to help. Catch you on the next one.